All right, hey guys, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Uh, my cough is still not going. Um, I am like ninety percent sure it's allergies. I don't, I don't know, but like I'm coughing and there's there's stuff in my lungs and I'm like, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know. Um, I hope you guys are all doing okay today. We're gonna be doing some more Manor Lords. We're actually gonna be starting a new. Oh my God, Pyre! I'm just starting. Uh, if you guys don't know my good friend Pyre, okay, hold on, hold on. I need to do the intro, otherwise Dunk is gonna get so mad at me. We're gonna be doing Manor Lords. And we are going to be uh, starting a new map, not because I'm done with the last one that we did, but because um, in order to get achievements in this game, it's all for this one map scenario. So I need that. I need that in my life. Okay. So apparently restoring the peace is the main campaign tutorial scenario that you get achievements for. And we're going to try this on challenging. Right? AI aggressiveness. Isn't it? Hold on. I think we'll be fine. AI aggressiveness, challenging. Rate of frequency, medium. What's the rate of frequency on this one? Frequent. Medium. Oh, that's easy. That's so easy. Because here, frequent was less than a year between raids. This one, the raid frequency is every two years. Are you kidding me? Uh... Whatever. Challenging. Yeah, let's go. Things are okay, mine. Things are okay. Just a little sad, you know. A little sad. Uh, but yeah, my my great aunt, she was uh she was 92 years old. That's a it's a good long life. Hi, Evangel, how are you? Okay. New message. I'll unite these lands under my rule. Yes, okay. So this is our land. Uh, let's see what is fertile. Mm. <laughs> Not much, actually. Uh, it's more kind of in this. Mm. So I think I should build here because we got fertile land over here and fertile land over here. Um, <clears throat> but that means rock is really far away. Ooh, you know what? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> trying to figure... I'm trying to do this strategically, because we understand this game a little bit more, right? That's fertile, too. No, we want to take advantage of that, so let's do that. So we're going to start building here. Um, construction. We're going to build some residential areas. We have five families that are homeless. So first things first, for start our business, is we want to make a lumber camp. We're going to make the lumber camp up here. Like literally right here. So that would be resources, logging camp. Right there. Got it. Unassigned families work on construction automatically. Yes, 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 yes. Um, and then we're going to also make a hunting camp here and a foraging hut. I don't... Okay, so the berries are there. So if I place this, like, here, that'll be fine. And then, so they're going to work on building those things. So we want to start building like right here for our homes. So if I do this. Not enough goods. I know we don't have enough goods for that. Aware. Something like, how big can we make these? A little bit smaller, a little bit smaller. If I do this, I can do, so this rotates it. And then this reduces the plot diversions. Okay.
which is good. That's what we want right there. Um. Oh, oh dang. Oh, <laughs> it's so it's so good, mine. Thank you. How's the game? Was moth? It's great. Hi, Red Talon. How you doing? Thank you, Reese's. I appreciate you. The celebration was comforting. It's just it's always I always find them like very bittersweet. Flexible plots. Yeah, we know about that. Haven't I already just? Didn't I just? Yeah, we're good. Every region in Menelor has strengths and weaknesses. That's okay. We actually happen to start in an area that has some fertile land, which is actually really, really, really nice to see. Um. Do that. And we're gonna do not enough goods. That's okay. So my people are buggering off somewhere. I've asked them to build a, what was it, this logging camp here. So let's make that the highest priority right now. Morning, Shenway. How are you? Have I played Bannerlord? Um, let me see. That sounds really familiar. Oh, so is Toby Ghost working, by the way, guys? Tis it? Bannerlord. I don't have that in my list of games, so I don't think I have, actually. Building has no assigned family. Select it and assign a family whenever you'd like to start production. What? What? what which one? Oh, the hunting lodge. No, 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 no. No, y'all need to start logging. Toby Banana, yes. Me message. I have heard of your renown. I only seek to defend my rights and my honor against those who would wrong me. I hope you will not judge me by the rumors and... Rumors and slanders that some may spread about me. Signed and sealed by my own seal, Hildebolt von Bernut. Write back. <gasps> I can write back? Oh, no way. I can actually, wait, can I type? You have no right cl rifle claim to Selbitz and Hofstetten. Negotiation, need silver, declaration, war surprise. Yeah, so I can just say, <laughs> that and need silver? I. <laughs> sure. Letter sent. Just woke up way too early. You're gonna go back to sleep at some point? This should be pretty straightforward for them to build. Did you pull a me from last night? Oh god. Summer's coming soon. And soon the people. Y'all should build this. They're waiting for the ox to come back, okay? So while we're waiting, yeah, let's actually assign uh where is it? We'll assign one person to Don't the hunting move. camp there. Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. It's true. It's true. Okay, we have another log. They should start building. Maybe, maybe not. Where are you guys? Where's the, where's the ox? It's not good. Dude, this is right on the border. Oh. If I have to spend another winter in Albert Families, request more market. Dude, market area is not in the... Ah, oh, I guess we could actually... No, market area doesn't cost anything for me to build, right? Residential marketplace. Uh, let's actually build the marketplace a little bit further. Yes, thank you. Further in. So we'll do something like 
that. I don't know what I'm looking at. And then actually just a touch more. Right? And then... Where does that even end? I can't even see where that ends. I think it ends... Hold on. Right there. Do that. Do... That. And then we're actually going to delete... How do I do this? Delete roads. Alt. Clear. Move road. Yeah. Oh! Cheese and crackers. Okay, hold on. Yeah, build that. And then we can put the marketplace... Like, right here. Which allows for a lot of stalls there, which will be good. Neat. Hey, Kraken, how you doing? The game approached you to get early access? No, I approached them. <laughs> Hi, inactive, how you doing? Hello, nerd? Oh my goodness. Hi, Nigel. How's it going? Okay, so we're gonna fast forward. I would really like this for this to be built right now. Hey, this is gonna be- it take a little time for me to get started just because I'm- I'm moving so far away from where we started, but we're close- we're gonna be able to build, like, better fields here, so. Hey, Hellas and physicals. Hey, thanks for the follow, guys. Appreciate you guys. What am I drinking today? Fun juice. Is this Shrek's house? Could be. Could be. Another ruler's army was sighted. Uh... They're not coming right now, are they? Are they chillin'? That's not good. I... I... Have ten people! Excuse me? <laughs> Kraken, I'm doing okay. Thanks for asking. Yeah, then no, that's not good at all. Maybe they they won't actually come in through here, right? Maybe they won't. Why are they? <laughs> They're gonna put me in my place. No, 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 no. Actually, no. They're just they're just passing through. They're actually just passing through. Livestock workforce is shared between workplaces. However, you can bind it to a workplace permanently in the advanced tab. Just watch out that you have an unassigned oxen if you have any construction going on. Okay. Logging camp. We'll get one person in there. That'll be good. Berries. Um. So we have this going on here. I think having so. Logistics. A granary. Hold on. The granary, like, right. I can't. Not enough. Not enough goods. Great. Keep going. Don't come here. Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah, so they're not going to bother me, thankfully. Um, we need to move our goods over here. So, if I could create a storehouse, which we don't have the timber for right now, it would be swell. No storage space left for hunting camp. Okay, well, if there's no storage space. Why don't you get up and help with the, with the building then, right? Maybe I'll just leave him. These guys chop wood, right? <laughs> Someone chops wood? Lee Matt, good morning. How are you?
So just so you guys know, this is the default scenario, but I'm playing it on the hardest difficulty, by the way. Just so you know. Do they just not chop down trees? Are they just like, no, we don't do that? Oh no, I hear them chopping. Yeah, this guy over here. There we go. Hey! There we go. If I have to spend another winter in Albert's barn, I'd like to free the balls off. Huh. Like I've never actually seen them chop down the trees. Neat. Okay, so he's done that. I should have two timber. Now I can build the storehouse, which is good. Actually, no, hold on. Uh, I do want the granary. Before I do the granary, uh, I want to build it kind of right on the edge right there. Granary. Yes. Granary, and then, um... <gasps> is that a river? Whoa! I didn't have any of these in my last game. Whoa, 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 whoa. Neat. <laughs> That's actually really cute. Maybe I'll put the storehouse across from it when I have the wood for it. Yeah, they're, they're having to walk a while away because all of my resources are here. Unfortunately... Neat. Oh, this is really neat. So I have two timber, so I should be able to make the... What is this? The granary? Storehouse. Just right across from there. There we go. Yeah, we'll be okay. I think. I have faith. Another ruler's army was sighted. Where? They are going. I don't know where they're going, actually. Dang, there's so many different, like, properties and stuff here. So they are slowly building these houses, which will be really good. Once we get more houses, we can get more population. Hmm. Yeah. Actually, you know what I would like to do? Storehouse under construction. Let's make this very high priority. Very spooky weather. I have two oxes? Where are all my builders? Crack the whips on those peasants, Nigel. Oh my goodness. Did your lord farquatting it up better than I am? Where are all my village? Where are you guys? Are they coming down the road? Y'all just chilling over there at the homeless camp? Kind of seems like it. Actually, you know what is the berry building built? Kind of. They started prioritizing that a little bit, unfortunately. Come on, laddie. Disease. People suffer from disease and may stop working. Uh, Y'all are not going to get access to herbs anytime soon, my friends. Sorry. Okay, the storehouse is done. If we could get the granary done too, that would be really nice. Do we have enough stone? We do 
technically have just enough stone to get that done. Well, no, I should have all the resources to do everything, right? I don't know, maybe not. Foraging hut, let's make that very high priority as well. Did I make that high? I made that high. Where are the people? What are you doing? Yeah, this has all the transported goods. They just need to actually, like, work on it. Where are you guys going? Okay, so they're storing stuff in the storehouse right now. Actually, let's put one person in the storehouse to work on transporting goods there, because that'll actually help speed up the process a little bit. I wonder, with the storehouse, can I assign an animal to it? Mm, it doesn't look like it. That's okay. He's just, he's just carrying a cart. It's fine. Okay, food is okay. Food is at three months. Not ideal, but it's fine. He's just, he's bringing everything over. Oh, they take such a backwards route? What? Oh my god, guys. <laughs> Have you marked the joist of the rafters already? Look at my villagers, though. They're so ready to work. What a peaceful little area. I kind of, you know what, honestly, my favorite parts of these games are, like, the beginnings. I really love the part where it's like, you're not really established, you're trying to figure out where the town goes. Um, I think it's really sweet. Yeah, they're gonna build that. Nice. So, forager set, let's get something in there. Get some, get some berries. Um, and they should start working on these now. Should is the keyword. Or no, they're working on the granary. Maybe? I don't know what they're focusing on. I think I set that to high priority, so they should be working on this. He's bringing the resources over so they can continue working on it. There we go. Granary is done. Is almost done. Okay, that's good. Family members have joined it. This should have all the materials it needs. Um, what we're going to do now, too, is we're going to move that hitching post over. The supplies will be fine. Hitching post. Relocate to... Uh, for now, I'm just going to leave it here. I'm probably going to move that around later, too, but that's fine. Okay, that's done. Um, if I could build more homes so that we don't have any homeless people. Nothing wrong with homeless people, but we just want any more homeless people. Well, that's so weird. The spots where I can link that onto? Hold on. What if I do it this way? Oh, it doesn't like that. Ooh. That is okay. 
So there's one. There's two. And we need one more to reduce homelessness here. There we go. Uh, once we're done with that, bada bing, bada boom. If they get family members, that'll actually be really, really good. Because uh, if I could have at least one more construction worker, that would be ideal. There's no one living in there. Wait, do they have someone living in there? Not really. Wow, we have 20 lim limber. <laughs> 20 timber. Goodness gracious, is English ever hard? Um, yeah, that's good. The other priority that we need is firewood, because I remember from our last playthrough, we actually ran kind of low on that. Bandit camp was sighted. Where? How far? You are so far away. Oh my god, whatever. It's fine. Continue. Limp? I know. Yeah, we're just gonna continue until we're gonna build houses. It'll be good. It'll be fantastic. I think we'll focus on um, farming next season. Okay, hitching post has been moved. They're doing a good job. Oh, so now I know it is kind of nice starting this game again because now I understand like the level of organization needed for it too. They're going to build their homes and then no one's going to be homeless. It'll be great. One is done. Two is done. Three is done. Hi, Mar. How are you? It's so good to see you. Oh my god, what is that emote? It's so cute. Is that a cat? Alright, our settlement level has increased. Um, to get more population, you need to have enough empty burgage plots, and your approval needs to be over 50%. So, uh, we do, 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 do... Let's get charcoal burning, like, right off the bat, because um, that was a struggle earlier. Let's do that. Uh, so, but we need more family members, so let's continue to... Can I... If I do this... Ooh, we love that. And build it right up to the water's edge. That's actually kind of... Eh, do I like that? I like that, yeah. We'll make two of those. Is it a trout? Is it? Family members have joined. So our homeless plot should be gone now. Yeah, it is. And the supplies, I'm assuming they'll eventually use that up. The big issue is we need to make sure that we don't... Um... Oh dear god, what are we low on? We're low on fuel. Okay, so we need to build these two plots, get some more family members, and then we will build a area for making firewood. Fishy, fishy, good boys, let's go. Someone could build, that'd be great.
Actually, you know what? Let's set to, um... Can I upgrade that? No, I need wooden planks and we don't have planks. Whew. We're working on things. Why do people hate me? Critically low. Why are you so upset? Not enough fuel at the marketplace. Not enough cloth variety. Church level too low. Homelessness. Well, I don't have homelessness anymore. Fuel is not critically low. You guys need to calm down. <laughs> oh, they took my hides. Where's my builder? Maybe we'll build a church next if it's going to be such a problem and a half. Okay, so they're making all of that right now. Um, let's view the fertility again. Okay. Particularly bad in that direction. Um, road. We'll have it go like... Something fun like that. Right? Um, and we will build... Woodcutter's Lodge over here for firewood. How about that? Actually, you know, we'll build it. Build it. Oh my god, I don't know where I want this. Here for now. Sure, why not? Lord Ultra's anti homelessness initiatives are unpopular. Apparently, yeah, dude. Apparently, yeah. Okay, I think we might need to prioritize building a church because everyone's just mad right now. I would like to build the church. Um, not enough goods. What do I not have enough of? Oh, because I need the sod planks. Okay, that's okay. Winter is approaching. Oh, dear God. Running out of fuel. I know! Build this! <laughs> hey, Star Fox. Church building? Blessed day. <laughs> Huh? Come on, guys. Why is no one building? You just need one timber. What's the issue? Where's the ox? Oh my god, don't tell me it's bringing that. Oh my god, I think it's bringing it from there. No! Family left town. I don't even know what role they fulfilled. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Where are you going with that? Give me log. Oh my god. Is it here? It's not here. What did you- what did you go to grab? Thank you. Everyone's leaving me. What do I do if everyone's like left? Oh my god, build this please. Quick, 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 quick.
Am I gonna lose? Did I just lose? What? Who are you assigned to? No one's working in- Do I have people? Yeah, we're doing alright, dude. We're doing alright. I think the game is bugged a little bit because... There we go. There we go. There we go. Last family. Clutch family. Let's go. Build! Build like your life depends on it. Oh my god. Make- make the firewood, please, because this is a problem. Oh, interesting. They actually chopped down trees for that? No way. Huh. Maybe they don't. <laughs> Take the firewood and go. Food for 92 months. What? Why is so much food? I guess it calculates it based off of how many villagers you have currently. People can move back in. That'll be great. <laughs> Where did I get my blue XLR cable? Amazon? I think. I should move back in. No one wants to move back in. Okay, I think fuel is okay. Um, timber is fine. We need planks to build other things. Um, so if we could get saw pit going that would be great i'm actually gonna put that right there how negative does it get before the populace is rallying around lord ultra's castle moat with pitchforks and torches yeah let's try to not get to that point am i dead why is there a cinematic for this? Did everyone leave? Is the game over? Shit! Okay, so there was an autosave for this. Let's load that back up. Yeah, dude, everyone got mad because there was no firewood, man. Okay, pausing. Woodcutter's Lodge. Highest priority, like right meow. Right meow. Everybody who has a job, stop working. Like no one do anything right now. Got a stall. He doesn't have a stall. Go and do the thing. <laughs> Please build this. My lord, thou art defeated. How did that happen? Everybody left because there wasn't enough firewood. <laughs> Where's the ox? It literally just needs... Winter is approaching, oh my god. It just feels like they don't actually prioritize building this right now, like, please. I'm asking... <laughs> A 
Someone? Anyone? Get the ox? I like your funny words, magic man. Dude, I don't even know where the ox is right now. Where is it? Definitely ain't there. I don't know. It's like it's really frustrating because it's like they need they need the ox to bring a thing over, but like where the where is it? Oh goodness gracious! Seriously? Where's <laughs> does the ox not exist anymore? I have one, right? I have one. So then, where is it? Sir, oh my god, where is this? Why are you grabbing... Are they going all the way this way? And up and over to get to the logging camp? No, they're not. That's nonsense. Go outside, I know, right? Okay, clutch wood. Clutch wood. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Where are you going? Oh my god. Oh my god. No! <sighs> this is so buggy! Build it, please. Build it, build it, build it, build it. Quick, 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 quick. Quickly! Oh my god. No, 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 no. Not again, not again, not again. Everybody. Everybody make the firewood right now. Holy cannoli. Holy cannoli. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Go to the storehouse. We have the resources. They're just not being distributed right now. Oh my god. Go for it. Berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. I do have direct roads though. Like, what do you mean? There's a road that goes from the lumber camp to here to, he like, all of town is right here. There was no reason for them to go all the way over here. This, this road goes right up until here. There are direct roads. Everywhere. Hey, Dylan. Thanks for the lyric. Appreciate it. Okay, so fuel is okay. So they're mad about the marketplace situation, which is fine. Let's build a saw pit and we need to... We're gonna do this right now. Um, assigned, who's assigned to what? We're gonna get rid of you. So that someone can build, maybe? Oh my God, maybe not. Storehouse, greenery. We have more than enough food right now. Oh, you have you have a stall though. We want to keep that up. Is 
That's intense. This is, this is, uh, harder than the normal difficulty. Like, I thought challenging mostly referred to just, like, the amount of times that I would get bombarded by raiders or people battling me. I didn't realize the conditions, especially for approval. I, I definitely feel like these are affected. There's no Uber, no. Someone just needs to set up a market stall for it. Brutal. Basically, we need to speed run. We needed to speed run making the church. No, I think I can try one more time. I can try one more time, but this is so brutal. Guys, we have a level one hype train, by the way. Thank you all so much. Okay, so we're gonna pause. Anyone who's working or doing anything. Is there even a market stall? Big fat lie. There's no market stall here. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. That needs to be the highest priority. And the ox was like, what was it? It was over here somewhere? Like, what were you doing? Everyone is working except for the stores person. And then additionally, what we're going to do is we're going to put the saw pit right there quickly. Everyone should be working on... Oh my goodness, leave Matt gifting us up to Doc Starbucks. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate you. That was really nice of you. Winter is approaching, correct? Where was the ox last time? It was it was in such a weird spot. Like Livestock. Sir. Oh my god, you know what it was? There was probably one more log here. In storage, and that's why this happened. So. To fix that right now, we're going to place a road that goes from here. To here. To. Here hopefully fix that and let's see if they'll actually take that road because if they do that'll be like life-saving take it <laughs> of course they don't of course they don't <sighs> no just take the long just just go all the way around that's fine That's infuriating. <laughs> Seriously? No, no, I'm not angry. You guys have never seen me angry. That's really annoying. Drops it off there, and then you're gonna do what now? Taking a log, you're gonna place it there. Everyone's gonna build that ASAP. Maybe. 
We wouldn't like it when you were angry. And then people are going to work on building this, maybe. Someone's going to work in there. And then for the church, we need 20 planks. Oh my god. It's doable. Emily left. Okay, we have one worker left. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna have to start a new game. I... that's really sad. You hate to see it. Um... But, yeah, that game is borked, so... Now we know when we play on the challenging setting... When we play in the challenging setting, we need to prioritize... Building a church and building Building a church and building a fire pit. So we're doing this. We're doing this on challenging. We're going to go. I'm hoping we start in the same area. But no, it's fine. This is like a good lesson learned, right? This is how we learn how to play the game. I really liked the area that we were in. It was really pretty. Unfortunately, we're going to have to make do with what we have now. Um, so now it looks like we have less fertility. It's okay. Um, this is good for farming. This is good for farming. Uh, we start off pretty much right here. So if we focus our efforts along here for now, um, that'll actually be okay. And if anything, it means less walking around, less mucking about. So that'll be fine. We want to start off with a logging camp, um, like right, <laughs> right here. We're going to get them to prioritize that. And then we're going to start building some houses right here. I felt like we were in a really good area. Um, that's the only reason why I'm kind of <laughs> grieving what just happened, but it's fine. Not enough good, so it's okay. Don't forget to brace the frame of the door. We don't want it to sag. So Bruce Banner, the Incredible Hulk says. Doctor Banner. Gotta smooth that beam over Zap there. by gamma race turned into the hulk. <laughs> Out of here, dude. I know the Hulk. I know Bruce Banner. Get out, okay? Did I used to watch like all the late night, like oldies retro cartoons on Teletoon late at night? It was like the OG Spider Man, the OG Incredible Hulk, 
Um, they also had, so we were talking about this last stream, but they also had Rocket Robin Hood, which apparently only played on, like, Canadian televisions. <laughs> Build the sop. What is it? No, this one. Sop it right there. Maybe later. Uh, Twisted Ghost. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, Twisted Ghost, didn't I yell at you about your Subaru earlier today? <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me or if you're in an ad break right now. Hey, JK Raid, so good to see you. Welcome. There's Lodge, we need one person in there, because apparently that's a thing and a half if we don't do that. Uh, we want to focus our town here in the center. Kind of here, so... Mm. Okay, let's do one more house here. If we can. Yes, yes, yes. Enough goods. Ooh, no, we want we want an additional family member there. Kind of been maxing this a little bit, hey? There we go, like that. Hey, uh, Twisted Ego Ghost, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. I think I yelled at you. You're you're in. Am I crazy? You're in Mana's Discord, right? Do I know the Spider-Man song? I know most of it. Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a Spider-Man can. Can he swing from a web? That's it. That's all I retained. Any weekend plans? No, just working on wedding stuff, dude. I do not have weekend plans. I have no such thing. Wrong? Do 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 Spider Man, Spider Man does whatever a Spider Man can. Does whatever a spider can? Okay, we'll build the marketplace here. Where is it? Marketplace. Where is the road? Oh, I don't like that. Oh my god, it's because this isn't very straight, huh? This is as good as it gets. Available market stall positions. Sure. No, he can't because he's a pig? Amused. I have a video about Gordon Lightfoot on a different screen as well. Why are you watching a video on Gordon Lightfoot? <laughs> Wait, did I just say that again? Oh my god. Gatsby, thanks so much for the sub on YouTube. I appreciate you. Why not? True. Is it just like a... Is it just talking about his life or what?
No, <laughs> that's very fair. Why not? Actually, true, true, true. Okay, this is a better start than the last one. That's kind of nice. Trying to like erase homelessness within the camp right now. Oh, we should start doing food things too, hey? Um, resources. Sorry, what do we have? We have hunting. Is, oh my god, that is so hard to see where to put that. We will put that right there. And then we have berries nearby? Oh, wait. Yeah, we do. We literally have... <laughs> we literally have berries right here. Love the berries. Because it goes, I'm doing all right. I hope you're doing well. Tryson, hey, how you doing? Someone analyzing a song, weird, guilty YouTube pleasures. Gotcha. Sorry, trying to get my chat to work. I have no idea to what person you said. Oh, no, Twisted Ghost. That's okay. Sorry. Let me look up the username of the person that I was yelling at. Hold on. <laughs> I was yelling at. Okay, sorry. I'm getting mixed up. I yelled at someone called the Veiled Ghost, not Twisted Ghost. Uh, if you guys want to see the DM. <laughs> New car! <laughs> Hope you also purchase spearhead gaskets. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. Car jokes, car jokes. Mr. Ghost, thanks so much for being here. I appreciate you. Is my foraging high enough to find the good berries? Dude, don't even talk to me about foraging. I need to figure out a new keyboard so I can play Project Zomboid. I don't want to touch Project Zomboid until I have a new keyboard. <laughs> Oh wait, is this spider failed man, ghost from Luffy? Spider man no way. Does whatever a spider can. Spins a web any size. Catches thieves just like flies. Look, Look out. out. There goes, there goes a spider, the spider man. man. Is he strong? Listen, bud. He's got radioactive blood. <laughs> can he swing can from a he thread? Swing from Take a look thread. overhead. Take a hey look. Hey there. There overhead. goes a spider man. Peter, I'm so sorry. I only speak um English. And sometimes, Soup -a -woo? um, <laughs> -a -woo? yeah, for sure, Twisted Ghost. Um, so I'm playing on a challenging difficulty right now. So we actually just had a playthrough that we had to toss away because, um, because I goofed. Um, essentially, you want to prioritize having, like, the main essential resources, so... Logging camp, woodcutter's camp for firewood. Um, I'm building plots to house my families right now. I think having a pantry and a generic storage is actually super low priority. I think. Like, in the beginning steps. Running out of food. Okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. What the? Where am I building the things? Get the food. Don't forget to check the level of the foundation. Okay, so we have someone in the hunter's camp. We need someone in the berry camp. So let's make that high priority too now. Most essential food. Uh, not really. You can you can coast without food for a little bit. They gather pretty. Oh god, hold on. That may be big fat lie. Don't listen to me. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Why do I have to carry this alone? Mm -hmm. Do 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 do
Dude, Gordon Lightfoot was so good. I don't understand when people are like very determined to like continue to speak the language that I don't speak because it's like no I don't I don't speak that. to talk with you i would love to be multilingual i would love to be able to speak multiple language but i can't <laughs> Listen. uh sundown oh it's such a good song you know thank you for the follow i appreciate you i hope you can speak like a little what is it what is it small in spanish piquito Pi Pi picante oh god i don't know I know un peu in French. I know sucio in Cantonese. Have I watched the? F I've, I'm up to episode four or five. Piquito, yeah. I mean, just to even say that I speak picante is spicy. <laughs> I thought I thought caliente was spicy. What is it? Do you guys follow? Uh, what's his name? Like polar bear comedy or something? God, he's so good. He's so funny. He's like a. I don't know if he's ethnically Hispanic, but he was raised like, he was raised in a Hispanic American environment. And he like basically does like these skits where he like pretends to be like with his like Hispanic family versus his American family. Yeah, yeah. He'll like pretend to be like a, like a very white person. Ooh, that's very caliente. <laughs> Caliente is hot, spicy, is picante. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Settlement increase! Let's go! Okay, we're kind of like screwed a little bit here, but we'll be okay. Charcoal burning, please. What I would like to do is hitching post. We're going to move this, relocate it to here. And then once we do that, we're going to start, um... We need another plot, actually. Zerp, don't talk about Gordon Lightfoot while I'm streaming ever again, dude. Your problem. Do you know that? She has great comedy. He? You mean he? <laughs> Okay, move the, the, the post, please. Right? Is the wave that sank the ship. You know what I really want to rewatch? Is um Titanic, because I hate myself. Does anyone want to watch Titanic with me in Discord? And like hear me cry? <laughs> Probably not, right? Dude, it's like I remember a long time ago when I went through like a high school breakup, I was watching it on um, Netflix and cause like, you know, cause it's just like, I just, I just needed to feel bad about my life. Right. And not having whatever. Um, but like, <laughs> I think like when this ship started sinking, I was already losing it. I was, no, it's only three hours long, dude. I started losing it when the ship started sinking and I paused it and it was like an hour and a half into the movie. Of the three hours, the ship starts sinking at an hour and a half in. And I was like, oh, it's, this is an hour and a half of people dying and tragedy and sadness. There's actually, so Facebook has decided that I really like Titanic lore, by the way. So it's been giving me a bunch of like really cool fun facts about the, like the actual Titanic. Do you guys know about the chef who got so drunk? He managed to survive in the icy cold North Atlantic waters for like way beyond what you would be able to survive. Because, because he got so drunk. Do you guys know about that? Say something for being a lush. A lush? Wait, what's a lush? I don't know what that is. Where are all my helpers? Where are the people? 
Technically, all the pools on the Titanic are still full. Oh, I was just reading too. Apparently, one of their swimming pools, um, it was open in the morning only for Do women. And in the afternoon, it was only open for men. Apparently, because of how the ship fell and because of the watertight seals, um, it is it is filled with, the whole thing is filled with water. But they're, they suspect that one of the actual pools that was on the Titanic, which existed on, oh my god, I can't remember what floor or what level it was on. But they think it's actually like perfectly preserved and intact. Um, Year 2 VHS box set? <laughs> Lush was someone who partook extravagantly of alcohol. Let me hold on. I want to tell you guys about this. Do Sorry, this flip. is like really inform. This is stop. We're not flipping in this game, quiet. Um, it's sealed in. So it's sealed in the sense that we can't reach it with rovers, but it's filled with water. Okay. Gosh, wait. Titanic chef. Was this the guy? Okay, listen, listen to this. You guys, are you guys, you guys want to learn something here? Y'all are going to do heck and learn. How a baker survived the Titanic sinking by getting really drunk. Uh, Charles, forgive me on the pronunciation, uh, Yohin was one of the disaster's most unlikely survivors, and he did it thanks to industrial amounts of liquor. <laughs> Uh, here we go. Before the inquiry sat Charles Johan, the chief baker of the RMS Titanic and one of the most remarkable survival stories of that fateful night. The baker had nonchalantly stepped off the stern of the sinking liner. Then, as 1,500 people screaming panic souls drowned and froze to death around him, Johan calmly paddled around until dawn. After being fished out by a lifeboat, he was back to work within days. In an almost physiological, impossible feat of survival, according to the British Titanic Inquiry, it was because the 33-year-old Englishman had the presence of mind to greet history's greatest maritime disaster by getting smashed. <laughs> to be sure, a good rule of thumb is that a drunk man will usually freeze to death faster than a sober man. The warming sensation of a glass of brandy is caused by vasodilation, the phenomenon of warm blood Don't rushing flip. to the surface of the skin. In a survival situation, having all that warm blood away from the vital organs means that the drinker is at greater risk of hypothermia. However, Canadian hypothermia expert Gordon Geisbrecht figures that in the minus two degrees Celsius temperatures, that's below freezing for you Americans, of the North Atlantic, the water was cold enough to quickly tighten Johan's blood vessels and cancel out any effects of the alcohol. At low to moderate doses of alcohol, cold will win out. Um, what Johan would have had, however, is the awesome life-saving power of liquid courage. Alcohol remains a leading cause of humans getting into fatal situations, including freezing to death. Nevertheless, the relaxing qualities of the drug have long been known to give humans an uncanny ability to survive trauma. Um... After initially hearing the collision with an iceberg, the chief baker leapt out of his bunk and began dispatching staff to stock the lifeboats with bread and biscuits. This done, he popped back into his cabin for a drink before heading topside to help load lifeboats. Not only did he refuse to his own place in a lifeboat, but he and a few other men began forcibly chucking reluctant women into empty seats, likely saving their lives. We threw them in, he testified later. The top deck of the increasingly listing Titanic was mostly cleared of lifeboats by 1.30 a.m. To most, this was a panic-inducing sign that all hope of rescue was gone. But to Johan, this was a cue to head back to his cabin for another drink. <laughs> he sat down on his bunk and nursed it along, aware but not particularly caring that the water now rippling through the cabin doorway. Um, he splashed topside again, where he took it upon himself to begin throwing deck chairs overboard with an eye to filling the waters with impromptu flotation devices. Dude, what a, what a broski. What a broski. Parched. He then worked his way back to the pantry to get a drink of water. The baker was standing on the stern when the ship broke in half, and yet he remembered the violent catastrophic breakup only as a great list over to port. <laughs> Jesus. There was no great shock or anything. 
Um, so he rode the sinking Titanic into the sea like an elevator. And let's see here. He got really cold in the water. It felt like a thousand knives being driven into his body. Um, yeah, most people died in the cold waters. An average size adult still has 10 minutes before going numb and at least an hour before the heart stops. Uh, many drowned or dramatically sped up their loss of body temperature through panicked flailing. But Johan, who had made sure to cinch his life belt before going in, met the ice-choked North Atlantic with a stiff upper lip of almost mythic proportions. He said, I was just paddling and treading water, he testified. Jesus. <laughs> Um, so apparently the alcohol decreased his feeling of the cold and made him more fearless and less panicked. Um, yeah, and he stayed, he was able to stay calm in that situation too. He floated around for two hours before he was rescued. Isn't that insane? Class is redeemed. Thank you. Sorry, I've been busy reading this. <laughs> Insane! Purple scented, thank you. Is this here now? Is this built? It is. Okay, let's get another ox. Can we? Hold on. We can't. We need that. Hold on. We need planks. Thanks for indulging me on that, guys, by the way. Mythbusters did this in an episode. Oh, did they? Peter, you're Brazilian, so you speak Portuguese and Spanish. I hope what I wrote here is correct. You did. Vitor, thank you for being here. We have underboob in here? Uh, I think quiet. Yeah, quiet. I hope you're doing all right, too. Did your town from last night get wiped? Uh, no, it didn't. We survived. We basically, like, beat the whole map. Oh my god, the mus the musicians were real. Dude, the what what is this, the song they played? Nearer to God than thee? Oh, heartbreaking. Underboob's here. Does Moo did Moo live? Moo lived! We're starting a new map because all of the achievements in this game have to do with this campaign, so we're doing this. And I think the the game doesn't actually like save multiple saves, it only saves one save at a time, which I didn't learn that until recently, so um <laughs> Alas, here we are. Quiet, it's so good to see you. How are you doing? It is Friday. How was your stream today? If we can get a shout out for Quiet, I would really appreciate that. Oh, Rimworld! How was that, dude? Did you uh, continue your previous playthrough or did you start a new game with a new patch, by the way? So we still have a plot where there's not families in it, which is kind of annoying. Food is good for 14 months, so I'm actually going to take the berry person away here. And the berry person is going to start making planks. The last survivor was a tamed rat named Nightbot. Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. Guys, check out Quiet. He's a fantastic content creator. I can't recommend him enough. If you guys are not already following him, what are you doing? You are missing out. You are missing out big time. Should have been follow. He is uh, one of my top recommended streamers on this platform. Entertaining, fantastic, hilarious, genuine. Um, just so easily to connect to and relate to as well. Um, it's always a good time. Always good content. Good content. Definitely check him out. Toxic fallout, heat wave, and four anomaly catastrophes. Oh yeah, that'll do it, dude. That'll do it. Gave the old ox a hand for the month old My approval rating needs to be over 50%. Not enough cloth variety. Church level too low. So if we get a church, we should... Hold on, how much planks does it take to make a church? 20. God. Uh, 
10. So big bada boom. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's brutal. I'm so sorry, Quiet. <laughs> Rimworld B, because Rimworld do. You know? Can make more planks, please? Fifteen. Okay, so every time he does this, it gives us five planks. Okay, we should have enough for church now. Church will go right. Oh my god. Does the road not extend past that? Doesn't. Here, hold on. Do that. Build the church right there, which I think will be good. If y'all could build that, that'll be great. Oh no, I'm not building in an area where there's, hold on, crap. Emmer fertility? No, 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 we're good, we're good. Now if we have extra planks, we can actually upgrade the stable too, which will be nice. Yeah, this is definitely a lot harder on the challenging setting, which I know sounds stupid, but I just, I genuinely thought it just meant, like, I would get more fighter fights and wars and battles, not just like, oh, it's actually harder to appease the citizens. Do you know what I mean? This game is a lot of fun, Felix. It really is. Okay, so they're bringing all the transported goods there. No, they're stealing hides and stuff, which I don't really personally care about right now. They're working on this simultaneously, too. How many planks do we have? I think once we have 20 planks, I can take that guy off of sawing. We do have some market stalls, which is nice. Another ruler's army was sighted. It shouldn't impact me though. No, it shouldn't impact me. where they're getting the stone from though. We have enough stone for this, but... Yeah, this game is very addicting. I'm really enjoying it. I guess if we had a stores person, this would be a little bit faster. Which is fine. It's fine.
Once we have this church. Uh, ooh, small stable complete. Okay, let's get another ox because we can afford- we can afford one. We can buy that. We can do that. We have the money. We have the- we have the coin. Yeah, they're all slowly bringing resources in here. Okay, we need eight more rocks and they can start building the church, which will be nice. God, I love the red winged blackbird. It's always such a lovely call. It's one of my favorite bird calls, actually. What other bird calls do I like? I like the house finch. <sighs> I like bald eagles. I actually like the sound of hummingbirds. What a beautiful game, Mountain Settler. It is such a lovely, fantastic game. I hope you're doing well today. Thanks for coming in here. No storage space left for saw pit. We saw it. Okay, oh my god, we don't need any more planks than that. You can go away. Actually, I might make that the new church pastor. Like vultures, any specific species of vulture? I know, what is it? In California, there's a lot of turkey vultures. What a cute little church. Neat. Okay, pastor's in there. Approval rating should be going up because we do have a church now. It's going down. Why? <laughs> Apparently there's not enough cloth variety. Hmm. I think our next order of business is probably getting a trading post. Marketplace. Trade. Trading post. Uh, yeah, let's put it here for now. The buildings look fantastic, absolutely. I was paragliding in Brazil and a vulture th flew alongside him. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> That's really cool. Hi, Emily. So good to see you. Welcome. How are you? A hey, trading post is complete. Do I need someone working there? I guess I do. I hear someone coughing. Mmm, I don't have things to trade though, really. Let's see, approval rating is going up. Church level plus three. Church level two low? Not enough cloth variety. Oh my god. Uh, these guys do need water access, so let's, uh... Underground water. Oh, there's water here. Wow. Let's build that. Let's build a well. Because we don't actually have one yet. That'll make them a lot happier, I think. Try that. Hey, Voodoo. 
Yeah, guys, I, I've been doing okay. I went to like a funeral earlier today and it was like very bittersweet. It was really nice seeing family, but it's also just hard. You know what I mean? So, uh, but we're doing okay and I'm enjoying stream tonight. Um, so I appreciate you all for being here and for hanging out. The well is finished. Approval rating is going up. Hmm. What do we want to do here? Mining, logistic, residential, farming. We can't really do much with farming. We could actually have a sheep farm. Maybe. Let's have it off to the back here, though. Um... Like that. And then we'll have the road connect. Like, I don't know. That'll be fine. Sheep farm. Maybe we'll put it here for now. And if you really hate it, we can move it later. No, actually, no, I'm, I'm lying. I want it here. No, I'm lying. I want it here. <laughs> oh my goodness, Sal! How are you doing? It's so good to see you. Welcome. Um, goodness gracious. Uh, I think Dunk Catch caught your last Mandalore stream too. He's like, I was watching. He couldn't remember who he was watching. He's like, I was watching someone playing Mandalore. It was really good. I'm like, dude, it was probably Sal. <laughs> Sal, this game is so great. Your city looks so good, by the way. It's so good to see you. How are you doing? Guys, check out Sal. She's a wonderful, fantastic uh, female content creator. Plays a variety of games. Is one of the most entertaining streamers, hands down, that I know. Goodness gracious. She, she is so funny. <laughs> yeah, we're playing... Um, I can't remember what scenario we're playing, but we're playing it on challenging right now. Because why not? And we're having a good time. Yeah, we're having a good time. I'm wondering if I trade stuff right now. We have a lot of planks, actually. So we could sell that. Maybe. But we don't have a consistent source of planks. Cheap farm. Okay, so we're going to have one guy in here. And then we're going to trade livestock. Trade. Hold on. Food. Food. Crops. Construction. Commodities, military, livestock? Oh, do I need a horse to do that? Oh, crap. Okay. <sighs> Your hockey teammate playoffs? Nice, dude, nice. No, it's all good, Bing. Get some rest. Please feel better. Thanks for letting me know. Sorry you're not feeling well. Um, hope you feel better. I'm a gamer. <laughs> Correct. Do we have our horse in there? Livestock? How do I order sheep? Anyways, uh, let's just do some trade. Let's uh, export planks. I only want to have a surplus of 20. So let's do that. And then what else can we do? Materials. Hides are okay. Firewood, I'm going to leave B. Food is fine. I don't have any crops. 
Okay. Dude, no one wants to move in. You know what, for a second, I'm gonna take away this guy. And we're gonna expand living space for all of these and maybe that'll help us a little bit. We'll see. Yeah, where, does it build a second house then? With the 39% of happy, I don't blame them. I don't know how to make them happy though. Like, does it add a second family or just adds like more people? The wants in their houses. Fuel supply stall. Not enough fuel in the marketplace. Not enough clothing. They want too much stuff. Too much. They're very fussy. Have I tried drugs? Jesus Christ. Um, no. Need more stable space. Let's build another stable. It's okay. Pressure makes diamonds. And I love pressure. <laughs> I was like, what is that? That's good. Let's upgrade it. I have so much firewood though. I feel seven. Like what's the issue then, right? 45 firewood. Are they just not building like a thing here? Marketplace. Fuel 83%. It's just the clothing is the issue. Fertzerp asked me how will Ultra keep these peasants happy in Manor Lord? Mm. Oh, keeping peasants happy? With Ultrasaurus in charge, those poor pixelated peasants better buckle up for a wild ride of accidental fires and questionable town planning. Whoa, Maybe whoa, throw whoa, a whoa, feast whoa. with virtual food they can't eat dog hey, that will hey, cheer hey, them hey, right hey. up. Hey, hold on. Hides into leather. Do I have enough hides to even do that right now? 11 hides. Linen, leather, and yarn. Actually, you know what? Yeah, if we just had that, it would be good. The tannery. Uh, the tannery can be placed, like, I guess. Um... Cross from where we're hunting the things, sure. And let's get another ox too, while we're at it. Probably feel safer having a thousand of each resource, yes. You're not wrong. Man, this is so much harder on challenging. Come on, come on. It's very Game of Thrones, it is. Is anyone stoked for... When is the next season of House of Dragons coming out, by the way? Do we know? Is that this year or next year? Come on, people. Get to work. 
have people working in the hunting house here? We do. Okay. This summer? Oh my god. So stoked. Look at the tannery. It's so cute. That's very exciting. Is there a definitive date or no? There we go. Now we have a clothing stall. It should make people a lot happier. Right? level plus six. There's cloth. There's not cloth variety though. Hmm. It's almost like I need to like rotate people around to different jobs. Um I'm thinking. Let's see. What do we got? The Cutter's Lodge? No, I need you there. Hmm. Berries are still good. There's still so many berries. We don't have anyone working in there, though. Oh, my God. Where is everyone working? Trading post. No. Berries, please. Battery. Hunting camp. So we have one in the church. One of berries, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's so brutal. June 16th? Nice. Some resources disappear. That's fine. These are still fun, though. But it's shrinking. So apparently they're fine. Recent 30 days, none. That's good, right? Is my approval rate still going down? Let's do veggies. Let's do... I can't, I can't do anything but veggies right now. Um, berries are done. So you're not going to do berries anymore. You're going to just work on homes. Approval rating is going up. That's good. They got veggies. I need 25 wealth for that. Brutal. I'm gonna get this guy back in the logging camp. Um, trading post. Trade. We're gonna say. Oh, I can only do planks. I can't do log. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. If this reaches 50%, that will be fine. Yeah, more logs would be good right now. We only have 16 timber. Might be good to move this. We'll see. I don't know what the radius is for it, though. I wish it would show us the radius. Like, I can kind of see it a little bit, but...
I am enjoying the difficulty of the challenging setting, though. This is heavier than it looks. And timber. I would love to have a storage. I would love to have like a pantry, but no one's working it right now, so we don't we don't have people to work it. He's getting that. Forty nine percent. Oh my god, it's almost uh, it's almost fifty. <gasps> oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, it's so close. Fifty one percent. Someone move in, please. Cold. Be inside this. <laughs> We're fifty four. Yes. <laughs> please. Oh my god, no, 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 it's going down, it's going down. No, 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 57? What did I do that increased it? I, what did I do? I don't even I don't even know what I did. Oh my god, it's back to 44, no. It keeps dancing around 50%. If someone could just move in right now. Right meow. Please. I think the food variety definitely helps though. If I could turn that into a chicken farm, that'd be great. But we just don't have the money right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. We're going to tell this guy no more. You're going to make planks and planks make us money, maybe. What did it say they were unhappy about? Everything. Well, the thing is, it says they're not unhappy about anything. Previously, it shows homelessness minus one, but no one's homeless right now. So why? I don't understand. Homeless minus one, is that previous unhappiness or is that current? I don't think it's current. Twenty-three. Twenty-five for the chickens. price point for your village uh like 30 gold whatever that is can you afford it god someone should be moving in no way this is insane maybe because it's winter time i don't know my Evans. The message. We've received reports of a bandit raiders roaming the nearby lands. Should we track their steps? Uh. Yeah, track their movements. Okay, that'll. Oh god, that's not good. Once we get up to 40 planks, uh, we'll start selling them again. God, someone move in place. Okay, 40 planks. Uh, we're gonna go to the guy making the planks. This is a lot of, like, micromanaging right now early game until I get more people. Livestock. Advanced. Sign. Yeah, advanced. We have the horse there. Okay, good. Once I have 25 gold, I can 
make some eggs. In this economy, I'm okay with that. Okay. Why is no one moving in? That's so weird. It's like weird RNG. Hey, Mr. Sagi Ramen. Like, someone should be moving in right now. Clevin, hey, how you doing? My wagon's extended warranty? Get out. Oh my god. So what's funny is in the base game, I remember them giving me weapons, but in this one, I don't know, with challenge difficulty, if they just don't? Two coin. Yes! Chickens, let's go. No, I didn't mean to do that! Oh my god. Actually, it's level two, that's fine. Uh, yikes, coming in with a raid party of 90. Welcome, welcome, raiders. How you doing? Yikes! Raid ski, let's go. <laughs> If you guys don't know who I am, welcome. Uh, my name is Ultrasaurus. I'm a mixed race Canadian streamer. Uh, we primarily do a lot of simulation games here. I've done City Skylines in the past. Really enjoying Manor Lords. This is great. We are playing on the the main scenario, but on the most challenging difficulty. Challenging. And it's hard, dude. It's hard. Uh, what were you guys up to? What were you playing? We get a shout out. You were just chatting. What were you up to? What were you doing? Yikes. Thank you so much for coming in here. Wait, did you type their name in? You did type their name in right. Perfect. Um, Vikings fan, um, Peraria, Chrono, and Cyber King. Thank you guys for the follows. Hey, you were playing Manor Lords too? Hell yes. Absolutely. You wanted to pay it forward. Yikes, I appreciate you. Yikes, do you want to tell us? Sorry. I know you just raided. If you got a raid and run, please feel no pressure. Hey, but if you are able to stick around for a little bit, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself and what you play and what you stream and how you've been liking Manor Lords? Yeah, guys, we are playing on challenging difficulty right now. We are playing on the hardest difficulty hey, and we're yikes. probably going to die. Uh, yikes, just shot you follow there, too. Yikes, thanks for the follow! Vado, thanks for the follow as well, dude. Thank you. Hey, listen. <laughs> where am I here? Hold on, we're here. So we just started... So we've played this previously. We had a playthrough last night where we played on the... harder scenario with the hey, raiders, but, listen. um, apparently this scenario is quite... difficult all on its own. Oh my goodness, all of the follows, you guys are so sweet! CK, Orvi, Batter, Z Oh my god! <laughs> Zelda coming in with a raid of 90. Welcome, Raiders. Holy guacamole. I'm super variety. Yikes, I love that about you. You are here to watch. Well, I hope I don't disappoint. Can I get a drink? Yeah, we'll see you in a bit. Uh, Zelda, how was your stream? Welcome, welcome. Uh, holy guacamole. This is insane. <laughs> We just had two raids back to back. Hey, Dude, the environment listen. is amazing. Like, look at the puddles on the road. Like, this is amazing. This is fantastic. You guys don't know who I am. Welcome. My name is Ultrasaurus. I'm a uh, mixed race Canadian streamer. Uh, we play a lot of games here. I mostly play like simulation city building games here. Um, and we're playing Manor Lords, which is like a medieval city building game. It is so hey, fun. I'm having such listen. a great time. Zelda, how was your stream? Please tell us all about it. How was World of Warships? I'm sure you kicked ass. Uh, Wit Dog and Snorting Turtle. Thank you guys for the follows. Welcome, welcome. You're gonna play this game tomorrow? <gasps> oh, I'll try to catch you live then. What what time are you streaming? That'll be awesome, dude. Th this game is so good. This is so good. If you guys don't know who Zelda is, Zelda is another Canadian female content creator. Uh, she does a lot of uh, World of Warships, um, but she's kind of looking to dibble dabble into other games too. Highly recommend her. Chill, easygoing vibes. Just a fantastic, amazing individual. individual. Zelda, you are so sweet. You are so fantastic. I appreciate you being here. 8 p.m. PST? Gotcha. Gotcha. You got the code tonight? Hell yes! Oh my goodness, Zelda, you're gonna have so much fun with this. This game is very addictive, yes. I'm probably gonna stream all night, honestly. Yes, they finally moved in! Oh my god. Blessed day. Blessed day. What was this? They're building this one too right now? <laughs> But Zelda, thank you so much for coming in here with a raid. I really appreciate you. Um, I'm so glad that we've met, by the way. Like, 
like a love supporting female content creators but b if you're canadian that's a that's like an a plus my friend that's an a plus guys seriously if you guys don't zilla is very very good if you guys don't know world of warships is basically um it's warships and it's a um battle game hey listen. she's very very good at it she's very good she's very well accomplished um highly recommend if you guys are into wows that you check out her stream as well dr a um Afsim, thank you for the follow blow stuff up she sure as hell does she sure as hell does uh, is this done yet this is done let's oh god we need food don't we let's make this chimkins actually you know what hmm maybe we should start doing the tailoring stuff so if i i can't upgrade this to level two yet because they need fuel mm. But we can actually build another plot to encourage more families to move in right now. So let's do that. Do that. What should the chimkin name be? Titties. Hands down. Titties. Uh, guys, if we can get another shout out for Yikes and another shout out for Zelda for coming in here with the amazing fantastic raids i really appreciate that lefty get the hell out of here what do you want what do you want what do you want i think this mandalore community is so refreshingly nice oh 110 percent yikes i would say like in general city building games they're filled with like fantastic content creators um out of curiosity yikes if just because you're a variety streamer just because you're a variety streamer was there a particular game that you got partnered on or did you just literally variety stream until you got partnered? I'm just, I'm purely curious. <laughs> uh, Zerja Talks. Hey, welcome. How you doing? Zelda, you're going to have so much fun. And if you have any questions at all about this game, feel free to ask. I'm, I can try to answer it. Lefty! It's, uh, this would be, yes, literally. Zazar, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. We need more families. <laughs> Lefty, how are you? Seriously, it's good to see you. Okay, if you guys have any questions about me, about the stream, about the game, I'm happy to answer them. You guys can bug me as much as you want. Yo, you did GTA RP? Oh. <laughs> that I actually hated it. <laughs> I... So as an introvert and as a very shy person, I would find GTA RP exhausting. I'm sure it's fun. I'm sh to some. I'm sure it's very entertaining, but like, is it more like Anno 1800? Uh, it's very much its own game. I wouldn't, I wouldn't compare this to another game. Introverted, shy, and mean. I'm not mean. I'm not mean. That is a big fat lie. Lies and slander, Lefty. Lies and slander. Yeah, guys, seriously. Check out, like, yikes. Came in here with a lovely raid. Check out Zelda. Came in here with a lovely raid. Y'all are amazing, and I appreciate each and every one of you. And yikes, I look... <laughs> That's such a good username. I look forward to getting to know you. Building the house. Okay. Family needs to move in there. Let's build another house while we're at it, too. Um, I'm gonna leave this plot open for... I think we could fit stables and stuff in there, maybe? For chance? Let's do that. <laughs> we need more spare villagers is the biggest thing that we need right now. We only have one for construction, which is a little dicey. We are getting attacked in 332 days. Oh my god. Okay. So, berries. Get someone in here, because uh, they're unassigned now. Actually, did we level up? No, we don't have any development points. We need two level two plots. We can easily do that. We can definitely do that. Specialize your region. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know, like, I, 
guess I've never I own Anno 1800 and I've never played it. Um, but I would say it's very much its own game. It's very unique. It's I think they even stated in like um, a press release. They're like, we're not like other games. Please don't compare us to other games, which is good. I think it's great. And I, I would agree with that. I tried Anno, but I couldn't get into it. Matter Lords is really nice. It's it's uh, kind of simple, easy going, which is nice. Okay, we can level this up, and then we can go to the next thing. Um, there is no family in here, and no family in here right now, but that's okay. They will come. If you feed it, they will come. It was, oh my goodness, this is developed so well. I'm so impressed for an early development game. Also guys, if we didn't know where to get a shout out for Love Tea, can we please get one? Uh, if you guys like shit to servers, entertainment, laughs, and content, check out Love Tea. Like that's the best way that I can describe them. Uh, yo, you're playing Fallout New Vegas? Get out. I think that's the Fallout that we're going to be playing too. How did you like it? Lefty's a good friend of the stream, highly entertaining, Australian streamer, streams a little bit later than us. Usually starts actually right about now? So wait, are you streaming today? I don't think you are. I'm here for my nap? Oh dear god. <laughs> Lefty, how you doing? And Tanner is good to see you too. Yeah, all good Tanner. Settlement level increased, okay. What should we do? I think we should do the deep mining. Deep mining is good. I don't even know if deep mining is like relevant right now in this region. It's like actually not really. Um, We need to start building weapons though. Or actually if we don't build, hold on. Maybe not building weapons, we need to make, make money. We need to make money so we can start building weapons. Um, People are upset because holy guacamole, there's not enough anything. Lack of entertainment? Listen. Knock knock. Thanks for the follow. Hey, listen. This is a plot level one. Let's just chickenify this one right now. That ensalada. Thanks for the follow too. That should make people happier. Uh, what's the wood situation? We don't have anyone working in here. Let's have this guy working in here. In the saw pit, we don't have anyone. Theoretically, people move into these homes. We should have one for building and one for the saw pit, which will be good. Maybe. Uh, food is good, though. Fuel is okay. Come on, one more person move in. We just need one more person to move in. Actually, we need a lot of people to move in, but... Here we go. New family. Um, let's start building storehouses and stuff too, right? Because we're, we're super duper missing a lot of that stuff right now. So if we go here, building. Emmer... Okay, so if we build the storehouses here... That'll be fine. So we're going to build this road up until here. Um, we're going to move the logging camp, actually. We're going to relocate this to... Right there to continue clearing out the area. And then we are going to put in... Goodness gracious. A storehouse here. and a granary here and then that leaves room for a road that goes like that just for if we feel like it wonder if you can eventually build stone walls around your town as of right now i don't think so okay uh so we have two unassigned people we have seven timber and 20 planks. 
let's build the logging camp first and build these areas and then um we'll get someone in the logging in the logging camp and eventually someone else will move in and we can there's one of these homes someone's not living in them right yeah yeah okay Yeah, we'll be okay, I think. I'm determined to survive. <laughs> Storehouse is built. No one's working in there, though. Resources stole my... leather. Great. Right. It's fine. It's fine. Why do I have to carry this alone? Okay, they're building the granary now. Great. And they should be finishing the logging camp soon. Great. We'll put one person in there. <sighs> Church level too low. I can't really do much about that right now, though. Clothing stall supply. We need more leather. We need more linen. So we have an extra 47 gold. And at the moment, our leather... Our leather is 37, actually, which is not bad. Um, I'm wondering if we should just purchase linen through the trade routes right now. We do actually have someone working in here. I didn't realize that before, but materials, linen, we're going to import it and we're going to import it until we have 10. And that should help with happiness, regional happiness. This game is like Majesty? I don't know about that game. This levels up. We need more level one plots. But I need more people moving in. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got one. We got one. So let's expand the living space. We have 12 timber, which is not bad. Um, expand the living space here. Expand the living space here. Hi, Red. How are you? It's so good to see you. Welcome. Sheep farm. No, we need... Let's build another house in here. Hey, Red. Guys, check out Red. Another fantastic female content creator. Uh, creates a lot of art, produces art on stream, live. Uh, sometimes plays games like House of Work 2. Genuine fantastic vibes. Just an overall, like, one of the truest and most unapologetically herself streamers on the platform, which I personally love. I I love honesty. I love seeing people for, like, just who they are. And, Red, you are exactly that. I appreciate you. I, Red, I will hold you to that. Love this game. It's really great. I'm enjoying it. Okay, we have one spare builder, so let's get the sawmill up and going again, the saw pit, so we can start um, getting more money again. So what do we have stalls for? We have a stall for clothing, food. I mean, there's a variety of food in there. We have food for 12 months. Yeah, we're okay when it comes to that. Oh my goodness, yikes. You're such a sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you for checking out Red. We love Red here. What 
is... I, I don't know anything about Majesty. Now, I just want to double check. I do have people in the foraging hut. And I do have people in the hunting... Hold on. Yes, I do. Okay. That's good. Logging camp. It's fine. They're working at that. Um... This is rough. We're making money though. Kind of. Maybe. We're gonna expand the living space in there too. There's no people in there right now, but... Oh, there's no people in that one either. Eee. Okay, to upgrade the church, what do I need? Stone and shingles. We can do that. Let's start working on that. Uh, stone is, oh my God, all the way over here. Stone deposit. So we'll build this right there. I think what I need to do is, um, we, we really do need weapons right now. So this is vegetables. We can upgrade that eventually. Let's turn this into a bower's workshop right now. We'll have this be the weapons area. This was originally chimkins, I think. No, 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 these are chimkins. Okay, no, we're okay. Um, we're gonna take this saw pit guy off for a second just so we can build some things because I made these people homeless. My biggest struggle was having enough available workers. It's hard, dude. It's hard, especially because um, I'm playing on the challenging difficulty. I kind of have to like swap people around a lot. General. Okay. That should be fine. I'm gonna leave that guy in construction. I don't think I'm gonna be ready for this attack. Alpha Gino, how are you doing? Yeah, yikes. It's 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 like definitely a lot of like um micromanaging for sure. I don't disagree. Family's in here. Okay, Stonecutter's Camp is finished being built. Did people move out? I'm so confused. What happened? Why why do I only have one constructing person? I had two. Weird. Okay, a family joined. Lack of entertainment. Do they just mean, like, the tavern? The tavern fulfills entertainment. But it needs ale to function. Don't have ale. Um... Let's get someone harvesting stone right now. Get 
And then if we could start building for the clay deposit over here, uh, that would be useful. Why is the rum gone? <laughs> yeah, Al Pacino, it's a good game. It's a good game. It's entertaining for sure. still plots they can move into, right? Right? There's this one. Yeah, we still need- we still have families that can move into there. Into both of some's actually. Hmm. Just gotta kind of stay patient a little bit. What is this game about? Uh, building a town in medieval times. Definitely not playing it right now. Are you playing your main playthrough or separate saves, Sal? Also, can you have multiple saves? I'm confused about that. I feel like you can't. Can't find a storehouse for excess weapon storage. Are they actually storing anything in here? I Oh, they actually are. Okay. So, army, we can actually have some archers so we'll have something at least when they come to attack I would like to have some <laughs> uh like not like melee guys if possible hey Cloven good to see you welcome and multi saves. Okay, sounds good. Okay, we have an extra family now. I don't know where they moved into. They, well, I don't know where they moved into actually. Uh, we need to take advantage of this iron deposit too now. So we're gonna build an iron deposit right there. Do I have someone working in here? I do. I do. Is there anyone in here? There's no- there, I have three homes that are empty. We all know what that means. And they can take my meat. That's whatever. I have zero surplus planks right now. Which means I- I think I have 20. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put someone back in the saw pit. So we can make our moolah. Uh, let's go to our trade center here. What's going on? We have 54 stone. We're gonna keep all of that because, um... Because we need to. Berries are good to keep too. We're trying to trade in linen. We don't have any linen. We now have a mining pit. Which is great and all. But... Log storage is full. Storehouse. They're moving things. Okay, we have a new family that's moved in. What do I need next? I need someone working the iron deposits here. Um, and when someone is working the iron deposits, I need someone to smelt it at the bloomery. Uh, let's move that over here for now.
Yeah, we just need weapons for the raiders. I'm assuming if it's the first raid, there's only going to be 18 raiders. Assuming. Okay, I will need someone who works in there. What did I decide? So that's a Fletcher's. We need to upgrade that if we can. A fuel stall supply. We need more fuel. 89%. Firewood is 7. I'm wondering if that has to do with not having someone in the working the storehouse right now. Because there is firewood in there. I don't know if that makes a difference. It probably does. Um, but here we have no family. Here we have no family. So we still do have empty houses that people can still move into. That I need them to move into. It's honestly a little bit of an RNG game at this point. What food do we have? We need more eggs, actually. So if I could... Oh, I don't have enough money. Ugh. Hmm. People should be moving in. I don't understand why they're not. Guys, I'm actually going to take this out as an opportunity to be right back and head to the washroom, so... Um, I wish I could send money and resources to my other tiles. I know, right? Um, I will be right back. 